In this example, we want to find the exact value of the inverse tangent of rad 3. So again, this is asking for what angle is the tangent of theta equal to positive rad 3. So the quadrants that the th uh, tangent is restricted to are quadrants 1 and 4. Quadrants 1 and quadrant 4. Now, because the value in the argument of our inverse is positive, that tells us we're going to be in quadrant 1. It's quadrant 1 because this is positive. Um, and so now we have to figure out what angles give us a tangent of rad 3. Now, if you recall, the tangent of theta is equal to our y coordinate divided by the x coordinate. So if we think about all of our measures in the first quadrant, we have 1, 0, we have 0, 1 up here. Um, at pi over 6, it's rad 3 over 2, 1 half. At pi over 4, it's rad 2 over 2, rad 2 over 2. And then at pi over 3, it's 1 half rad 3 over 2. So we want to know when we take the quotient of y divided by x, which of these results in a value of rad 3. Uh, we know that rad 2 over 2 divided by rad 2 over 2 is 1, so it's not going to be there. This is going to be 0 here at 0 radians, and this is going to be undefined at pi over 2. So that leaves us just with pi over 6 or pi over 3. Um, if we did pi over 6, 1 half divided by rad 3 over 2 is going to give us 1 half times the reciprocal of the denominator, 2 over rad 3. Uh, those cancel. We end up with 1 over rad 3, which is not going to be rad 3. So it looks like it's going to be at pi over 3. But let's just double check to make sure. So rad 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. That's rad 3 over 2 times the reciprocal, 2 over 1. Uh, these cancel. We end up with rad 3 over 1, which is just rad 3. So it looks like it's going to be this angle, which is pi over 3. So this happens when theta is equal to pi over 3. So we can say that the inverse tangent of rad 3 is equal to pi over 3. So that is where the inverse tangent is equal to uh, rad 3, is at pi over 3.